Verse of the Day Day 15 Matthew 4 verse 4 But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Just as the physical dimension of man, the body, needs physical food daily to keep it alive, the spirit of man must also eat the word of God to keep it alive. The word of God is eaten by hearing and receiving into the spirit and meditating on it. To be successful in life, we are asked to meditate on the word of God. Men think and talk about their problems. They build their lives around their problems. They consider the gravity and size of their problems more than the power and greatness of the Almighty, all-knowing and ever-faithful God. They go into deep meditation on their problem, idolizing their situation. Whatever you focus on increases in size, the more you meditate on your problem, the greater it becomes. It becomes more real and puts you under undue pressure and stress. Your entire life now revolves around the problem. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 6 says to acknowledge God in all your ways. Don't make your problem the object of your acknowledgement. Complaining, murmuring, and talking about your problems will only trap you in bondage. It allows Satan to sneak into every department of your life and make you repulsive to the available help around you. It obstructs your sight and vision and prevents you from seeing the solution. Hebrews 4 verse 10 says, for all who have entered into God's rest have rested from their struggles, just as God did after creating the world. You can put a stop to your struggles and sorrow. Change your attitude. Learn to live by the Word of God by allowing the Word of God to take precedence in your heart. When you meditate on God's Word, the glory of God unites with your spirit. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for the glory and the beauty in your word. Your word has the inherent power to change my life and make me become what you promised. As I meditate on your word, I become better, brighter, and wiser in the name of Jesus.